Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft Survival. In the last episode we have been exploring the world, uh, but unfortunately we haven't found a lot. Uh, we have found one broken portal, we have found a savanna biome, and we have found... well, that's about it. We have found some llamas. But uh, nothing too much of an interest. So I want to continue getting some more advancements. That's why we'll stay at home today and reach at least something. I looked it up uh, and found a few easy ones. We can do something related to the villagers. We can summon some help. We can summon an iron golem. That is uh, easily doable. And we will also try to expand the village i guess or at least prepare for the expansion maybe do some roads plan for the center of the village and also that also the iron golem has a place to stay <laughs> and other easy things that i found were related to bees uh, we had no luck with bees but uh, there is a trick to it you can make your own beehives by planting saplings either birch or oak um, uh, on the ground and uh, two tiles away, two blocks away from that sapling, you can also place a flower and then wait until it grows of course or use bone meal and there's a 5% chance uh, that it will spawn together with a beehive. And since we are again running uh, very low on wood, we have spent a lot of it, uh, we need to stock up on wood, so I'll use all the bone meal. We have tons and tons of bone meal and tons and tons of saplings to not only stock up on wood, but also maybe get uh, some bees. And there are advancements for relocating bees within a beehive and there is also an advancement for harvesting honeycombs. There's even an advancement in 1.17, a new one, uh, for waxing the blocks of copper with uh, with honey, right? With honeycomb. Uh, we can't do that just yet because I am one short on uh, <laughs> on copper. We have found eight pieces of raw copper. Uh, we need nine. But uh, copper should be pretty common, so I'm sure we'll find more in one of the next episodes. Also, in the last episode, we have found um, we have found llamas five or six of them and they are relatively close so we can go back uh, with uh, some leads and bring them back home or at least two of them uh, which should which should help us uh, long term with our other goals uh, what else can we do oh yeah we have also built a speedometer for the horses last time and the horses turned out to be the worst and slowest horses in the whole universe both of them <laughs> so we'll need to go probably this way i remember seeing some horses over there find some more friends and see if we can you know um, do the exploration a little tiny bit faster on a horse back but uh, of course for that we'll need a fast horse not a horse that is slower than when we run <laughs> okay uh, anything else oh i see we caught a treasure but i do not need bows i need basically anything else than bows um, yeah we need a new set of armor look all three of these are basically gone so i need to go and trade with alex um, for just one emerald he can give me any type of armor i want there he is, by the way. Hello, Alex. Uh, I hope you're having fun. Um, so, yeah, we'll go to him and trade with him. And then probably disenchant that armor and uh, try to re-enchant it. We don't have the levels yet, but we can at least lock the enchantment uh, when we see it happen. I have an unbreaking book, so we only need to lock the protection 4 and everything will be fine. I think he also actually gives us enchanted armor with protection on it. So if I don't get protection 4 on, let's say, protection 3 or 2 even, I can still take the books and upgrade the armor that he has given me. That's also a possibility. Okay, so let's have a look at this bow. Looks like that's the only treasure we got. It has unbreaking and power 3. Not a bad bow. 
but uh, you know I don't need it. <laughs> Come on, give me a name tag, give me a, a enchanted book or things like that. We also probably need to spend a night outside. I want to hunt for um, Enderman uh, because I still need uh, at least 10 more Ender Pearls to craft the Ender Eye so that we can go searching for for the stronghold. I don't see any of them spawning yet. Yeah, there are no Endermen spawning. Maybe I need to go out into the open plains to see them. Come on, I mean, it should be like every ninth uh, catch should be a treasure. So, treasure is long overdue. Am I fishing at the correct place? I sure hope I am. Yeah, I don't see anything spawning actually. That is interesting. I don't see skeletons. I see one creeper in the very distance uh, over there. Huh. And that's it. Okay, there's a skeleton. There's a zombie. No, that's also a skeleton. Is the skeleton going to shoot me? Yeah, now I see more things. Okay, skeletons and spiders. That's fine. I think we should stop uh, fishing. Didn't catch anything, unfortunately. Maybe let's stop when we get uh, the next treasure. It should be, ouch, it should be very soon. You're not going to shoot at me, right? Oh, you are going to shoot at me? Fine, fine, I'm going to kill you. If you're so persistent, so adamant on dying, I will grant you your wish. There you go. Leave me alone. Okay. Now let's uh, continue fishing until we get one more treasure, okay? One more treasure and then we go. And then we go. Probably. Did that zombie just despawn? Yeah. I need to lure in uh, the, the Enderman. As soon as I see any Enderman spawning, I see a slime but i really do not see any enderman there's a spider over there in the distance i just saw one pixel come on give me some treasure that's not treasure that's junk more guys yeah this is also a nice test if uh, the alex uh, knows what to do goes inside and stays there the whole night yeah we should totally stay up the whole night to test uh, Alex's behavior, whether he's safe there or not. <laughs> come on, treasure. No, come on. It's 11.5 or so percent for treasure. Like 1 in 10 at minimum. Oh, name tag. I take it. Yeah, name tag is fine. Thank you very much, game. So um, here we go. I said, here we go, just finished the last one. Good, a nice tropical fish. Let's put everything back in here. Like that. Fish, fish. Some bows, tripwire hooks. I will keep the name tag though. Uh, that is too important to just leave here. Uh, take all this stuff and now we can go hunting for Enderman. Do we see any? No, we don't. Okay, in that case, let's just go out and start uh, killing everybody one by one. And Enderman should appear eventually. Yeah, they should appear eventually. So, skeletons, zombies, we still need potatoes, we still need uh, other things. I saw some creepers there, I don't want to deal with them just yet, that's why I'm running this way. And I can afford to do this relatively slowly. So many armored zombies? You are armored, but you are not giving me the rare drops that I need. Very cheap zombies. Have I seen? Yes, I have seen a bad guy here. So you can go that way, and more, 
And we can two hit them now, that's also very good. Okay. Fine. These guys, one, two, and one, and two. Okay, you as well. Come on, give me some Endermen. There must be some spawned already. Just need to look around, probably. We can easily lure them to us just by looking at them. Right? Let's eat. Unfortunately, I do not see any. I do not see any. And we continue then. There's a witch. Oh, thank you for the bow. Okay, come on. Anybody else? Oh, I hate it when they put me on fire. I seriously hate it. No Enderman? This is going to be a very boring footage. Come on, at least one. No you don't. Ah, fine. <laughs> so much rotten meat. I don't need rotten meat, I need... And the pearls, and I need potatoes, and I need carrots. Come on, yeah, he's over there asleep. That's very good, very good. Oh, huh. fine, let's go and get that guy over here. One, two, and you can also die. Okay, maybe you as well. Um, and continue this way I shouldn't be I shouldn't be using the fire sword too much unless it can help me with the spawns <laughs> the skeleton is fighting the, the guy that's fine that's funny take the arrows I could be also shooting them but I don't have a bow do I I do have a bow with power one only that's not gonna help come on enderman If I only had a spyglass. But we'll have to wait for that a little bit. It's not an easy item to obtain. Hmm. Yeah. It's almost day and we haven't found a single Enderman. That is rather disappointing. <laughs> Don't worry, we have other things to do. If... Uh, one thing doesn't work, we'll go for the next one. Did they just despawn? No, you just, uh, you just hit yourself over here. And you are also going to die due to fall damage. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Enderman, last chance. Are those llamas? No, that's, that's a horse. Okay. Can we, do we have a saddle? No. Uh, I think we should go and try to take that horse home. Yeah, we should try to take that horse. He might be a good horse. We got seriously nothing out of that. Even fishing was much more profitable. Hmm. All right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, we remember there was a, a bee nest somewhere in this area. I think it was uh, right next to the next to the mountain. Yeah, there on that solitary tree. I still don't see any bees. They are most likely dead. They are most likely dead. It's full of honey. I don't know. Let's see. Silky. 
It's a bee nest, okay. But we didn't get the advancement, which can only mean there are no bees inside. Hmm. Or at least, well, I think so. They would be, they would be over here. They must have died somehow. Maybe two mobs. I don't know. Well, we have a bee nest and uh, we can at least harvest the honeycombs from that. I will use the trick with the campfire just in case there is a random bee over there, but uh, I don't think so. Okay, what's next? Uh, shall we start planting trees? Yes, let's start planting trees, uh, chopping them down and hoping to spawn spawn a beehive yeah over here in this area sounds like a sounds like a good idea yeah so we need uh, what we need saplings and we need uh, bone meal yes saplings and bone meal okay so bone meal can be obtained here let's take like one, two, three, four, all of it. And let's take also the oak saplings, I believe, from over here. Yeah, we have 64, that's more than enough. And then we should probably drop off all the junk again. <laughs> I think we don't have to worry about pumpkins and melons all too much anymore we have more than we will ever need i think so this was probably the last harvest here and oh did i not even pick it up i maybe have not even picked it up yeah i was too full right so this then the mob drops and more mob drops here these ones, that one, all right, some gravel, some dirt. Where do I put the bee nest? I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, this thing, then more spider eyes. Um, the name tag needs to be moved somewhere else. The bows, I mean, I don't need the bows. We can totally put them into lava. Yeah, let's enjoy that. <laughs> it's always enjoyable. It's always enjoyable. Okay. Uh, so all this we can keep for now, I guess. Yeah, let's, let's keep that and start planting those trees, right? No time to waste. So first we need to find some, uh, let's say here, first we need to find some flowers and then next to flowers we will uh, plant some saplings, right? That way I don't have to plant uh, the flowers myself. So like one, two, over here, right? And then we uh, use bone meal as well, and number five. And uh, yeah, it has a, how much? I think it has a 5% chance. So it's, it's not gonna work every time. <laughs> Let's be honest about that, but we can keep trying. This one, for example, and see. Oh, look at that, look at that. Wow, how, how lucky are we? Number four, bam. Were there any bees inside of that one? Hmm. Well, in any case, <laughs> like the second tree, the second tree has already spawned a bee nest. It must have some bees inside. It must have. That's why I wanted to collect it before the bees, uh, before the bees go out. Yeah, see, we didn't have any luck over so many episodes in the wilderness. And when we try to do it ourselves, it takes like literally two trees. <laughs> literally two trees only. 
So I want them to fly over the crops from one place to another. So how will we do that? We need them to have access to flowers. So I think I will put the flowers somewhere over here, right? We will take these, uh, these ones, and, uh, the blue ones. I hope they can I hope they can work with these uh, uh, swamp flowers. Like that. And I don't want any other flowers too near so that they don't venture off. That would be not so cool. Yeah, that would be not so cool. So. I can either have the tree and the bee nest on this side and then let them wander off over there or I can have yeah I think I think one tree over here wouldn't hurt really right yeah let's put a tree right here number four so I don't want it to be too much in the way here. If I have a tree here, it will be, it will be okay. If it's a small tree, I guess we can work with that. I guess we can work with a small tree over here. Yes, we can. So number five. Let's see. It is a very, very small tree. Actually, it's super small. That's, uh, that's not even what we want. We want a little bit, a little bit bigger tree. <laughs> Or is it enough? I mean, if I get rid of all of its uh, leaves on this side, but it will totally be in the way, like I will not see anything if this tree stays here. I want it to have a little bit higher uh, trunk. I mean, it's kind of okay. It's kind of okay. Yeah, let's go with that for now. We can relocate the bees if necessary a little bit later. And now we need to plant uh, these blue orchids. So some of them will be here. One, two, three, four, and some here. Five, six, seven, eight. Huh. Nine. Ten. Does that look good? You think they will they would be interested in that? I would be. It should it should be near enough to them, right? It should be near enough. I hope so. We also need to see uh, the progress, of course, so we need to get rid of all of this and plant it and see if the ones that get uh, the help of the bees will grow faster. Yeah, that will be the experiment. <laughs> all right, so first this, number three, and let's plant it. Okay. Here. I think I need to be like closer to make this faster. I'll I'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> Off camera I tried it a little bit and I was able to to do this even like 50% faster than what you see on camera. I don't know how I, how I was doing it exactly. Anyway, now we have the full field, yes, and uh, the sun is going down, we should probably sleep, we should probably sleep, yeah. so let's put down a bed over here as well, okay, so that I don't have to open the doors and close them, it's uh, even that is annoying from time to time. <laughs> 
and now hello there now the crops are still on this stage and I need to put the I think this one right that's the second one right here bam are there any bees inside come on bees No? Was that the empty one? No, no, that's not the empty one. B number one and B number two. OMG, we have two Bs. We immediately have to do uh, a baby bee. Let's take the orange flower. Uh, actually, let's take a couple of orange flowers. Let's make a baby bee. Oh, baby bee, baby bee. Come on, come on. There's one. Uh, you wanna, you want, you want this? Yeah, you want, you want, where, where's your friend? Where's your friend? Oh, there, there, there. Oh, can we have a baby bee? Baby bee, baby bee, baby bee, baby bee. I'm so happy. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> okay, you can, you can go and work on your stuff, okay? You can go work. I, I have nothing else for you. You know what? Um, uh, just uh, just for fun you can have also some tulips and some dandelions and some poppies okay I'll, I'll even do that for you what would you say where did you go no no do not go into what what's with these suicidal bees come on I, I need I need uh, how are you so suicidal bees how here another one and one more there's one this one too they look so nice you want to come here bees you want to come here look you have tulips and many other things i will even give you dandelions you know one there one here come on there's all of this nice stuff just waiting for you don't go into water where are you bees There's one. Uh, no, no, don't, don't go, don't go to me. You can stay here. Actually, yeah, let's uh, come to me. Come to me. Oh, all three of them still are alive. Yes, they are still alive. Come to me, bees. All three of you, okay? All three of you. Even, even you. Even you. Even you. Don't go to water. Don't go to water. Oh, I will. I will so need to move them somewhere where there is no water at all uh, yeah we will need to do that come on you can follow me you can also grow up little bee uh, we can probably help you with that a little bit so where is the little bee little bee is here little bee which one uh, did you did you grow already no I think like this, yes. Okay, and now you can concentrate on collecting all the pollen, right? And when you return, you will return through the crop field into your hive. Um, and I will have a silk pickaxe prepared. And we will get an advancement, I hope. <laughs> that would be very appreciated if I, if I could get that. Yeah, you are full. You are dripping pollen and one, two and three. Yes. Bam. There we go. There we go. Advancement made. Total B location. <laughs> okay. Okay. Was it this one? I don't know, but we'll, we'll see soon enough. No, I think that's the one without bees. Although I'm not sure. Um. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure. You know what? Wait, maybe we can have six bees around here. I'll just I'll just place the other one as well and see see what they do. Yeah, this one is full of honey. This one is not. Yeah, this one is full of honey. So well, let's take the one that is full of honey. Uh, we don't need that. Okay. 
And this is the one that uh, our three bees are living in, right? I just... Uh, I just don't see them anymore. Yeah. Let's break the stuff that might be confusing them or something. All these vines maybe can go. All the grass can go. That's fine. So, bees, um, I know I have relocated you, but uh, you can come out now, you know. Do you think they stay in the nest for a long time or or will they come out tomorrow? Hmm, I don't know. Well, what we also need is uh, get another uh, advancement from this bee nest, which is most likely abandoned. Uh, so we need a campfire, just in case. So we need sticks and logs and coal. Sticks and logs and one piece of coal. Okay, and now we can have a campfire like this. And we also need shears. I think I know how to do shears myself. So let's do that. Very quickly, one here, one here. Let's do two pairs of shears anyway. And with all of that, I think we should be fine. Yeah, the bees are the bees are back. Perfect. Okay. So the other honeycomb can be can be over there. No, no. I'll just I'll just harvest the stuff off of off of it, and that will be it. Maybe we can put it into into the village. Huh. You do not go close to the river ever. Okay. Understood? Let's uh, let's put it here on the other side. On this tree? That is an oak tree, isn't it? I think that is an oak tree. So let's put uh, this one over here. Number one. Like that. That's fine. And over on this side. Bam. And this one is uh, dripping full of honey, right? Yes, see, it's dripping. So now we just place a campfire below it. That will uh, numb down the bees if there were any. I don't think there are, but let's put it there. It generates a lot of smoke and now they are sort of dizzy and we can take the shears and use it over here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> a new recipe. Okay, and somehow I didn't get the advancement. Why would that be? Can I shear it once more? No, I cannot. Hmm, interesting. Interesting indeed. Use a campfire to collect honey from a beehive using a bottle without aggravating the bees. Oh, you to collect honey from a beehive using a bottle. All right, I did not have a bottle. Well, that is... Uh, that is sad. <laughs> that is sad. Maybe I can... Maybe I can... You're still a small bee. You're still a small bee. Maybe I can give you some more flowers uh, to to help you grow up, because we will need to. Oh yeah, see, they are they are pollinating. You can have this. Yes, um, it will help them grow a little bit. See, they are pollinating the crops. I think they are doing it like one by one, though. Which is not bad, which is not bad. Uh, but I, I didn't read I didn't read this too well. Yeah, using a bottle, okay, next time. And apply a honeycomb 
to a copper block. I'm, I'm sure we can do that. So let's wait maybe until this uh, one is also dripping. Uh, if we destroy this, we will we will not get the campfire back, right? I don't think so. Let's test it out. Yeah, we'll get coal and probably nothing else or I don't know, but we don't get too much. Yeah, busy bees as they should be. Uh, we can wait, we can wait for them to finish their job, I guess, I guess. <laughs> So you should also not be there when the sun is setting down. Come on, you should be going back into your nest. Please tell me you are not suicidal and you do go back. Yes, you do go back. Okay. At least that, you know, at least that. Now I need to sleep myself. All right, so somewhere we should have also a bottle. Are you going to work now? I don't know. <laughs> Somewhere we should have a bottle. I think it's right here. No, I already... Hmm. I must be misremembering things. So let's uh, take this junk with us and uh, go back. Get rid of the junk and then we'll craft a bottle or we can just use one of those bottles that we have prepared for potion making. Are you working bees? I mean, there's no rush, but uh, I just want to make sure you are still alive. <laughs> I just want to make sure you're still alive. So uh, this over here, uh, where will we put honeycombs? It's a good question. Let's take the melon slice, I will eat some melon and let's put the honeycombs over there, yes. And then the dandelions and poppies and I think also the orange tulips right there. Okay, and then this one can be disenchanted, yeah, a little bit of maintenance. Oh, power of free, unbreaking free, but no, you can just give me levels basically and then I will throw you away, bye bye. Um, what's next? I have so much bone meal that I don't need suddenly. Uh, this one can go there. That's fine. And uh, man, I have so much junk that I don't know what to do with. Uh, we'll need to, we'll need to first do that so that I remember. And we don't need the sticks. Uh, the name tag definitely oh bees are still alive and uh, and the honey is dripping yeah we totally need to make the we totally need to make uh, the thing okay you stay here charcoal oh oh interesting i didn't know that can happen let's uh, offset that the shears can stay here for example i should have a couple here Yes, and then the melons we will try to eat for now. Um, I still need to do the oak sapling thingy because I mean we are still low on um, we are still low on uh, wood, right? So I totally still need to do it. <laughs> but first, first let's do the campfire, another one that is, and. Uh, Maybe a charcoal can be used for that purpose as well. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so the campfire needed uh, logs and sticks and coal, but maybe charcoal is also enough. Campfire. Yes, charcoal is also enough. So one campfire. And the second thing I needed was a bottle for which I need uh, these things, but uh, I can just take a bottle from here. This one and number five, let's drink it. Yeah, and now let's go collect some honey. All right, so uh, I really don't want to mess this up. I really don't want to mess this up. Number one, put it there. 
Okay. And now they have a smoke. They should not be aggravated. And glass bottle. Bam. Be our guest. Haha, <laughs> new advancement, mate. Excellent. Now we have a honey bottle. That's what we wanted, right? That's what we wanted. Do we keep the campfire over here? I mean, can they... Can they work? I guess we can test it, right? Yeah, we can totally test that. So now we have done this. Now we can apply a honeycomb to a copper block. Uh, well, we can't. We can't because uh, we do not have enough blocks. So that will have to wait for another episode. That will have to wait for another episode. Okay. What do we do with the honey bottle? I guess we put it uh, here. Yeah, that sounds about right. Charcoal. I guess we can put charcoal together with coal. Yeah, and now we need just uh, the saplings and the bone meal and choppy. And uh, we are good to go, right? We are good to go. So. How much time do we have? 20 more minutes. So that's pretty nice. Uh, I don't think we can do much more with the bees. I'm not going to return for llamas today. Uh, horses. Shall I go for that horse? Let me actually take a saddle and uh, also a lead or even all of the, or half of the leads. If I need to take somebody. Yes. Yes. Um, oh, and we need a golem to protect this guy, yes. Can we do that in the next episode so that I have some advancements for the next episode as well? Yeah, we'll summon, us, we'll summon a golem next time. We already have enough uh, advancements for this time. So I can hunt for endermen, which is not such a bad idea. But you know what? Let's go chop some trees. Uh, let's go also chop down some of these things. Did it disappear? Yeah, it disappeared. That's the problem, you know. If, if we don't do it like this, uh, they can they can be destroyed on themselves. You know, whatever you throw on a cactus will basically be uh, destroyed. So uh, always try to probably just do it like, like I did right now. One and two and three and four maybe a little bit more do we have any more uh, sand no no that's it maybe on the other side i also think i have enough uh, of this by now i don't need all that much yeah so one here or there here and one here maybe yeah that also looks nice so we have a grand total of uh, six it's not a big gain it's not not a great gain but it will do all right <laughs> so how about these trees i can i can do that off camera you know now that the interesting part was basically done i can do that off camera and i will do that off camera okay you really don't need to watch me plant uh, trees and chop them down that's uh, that's beyond me as well what we can do is uh, get some armor from this guy we do have enough uh, we do have enough um, uh, emeralds and I just need a helmet and a chest piece, I believe. So yeah, let's take the emeralds as well. All of them, if I need to do more. I see you there. And after we get the chest and the helmet, we might want to go and uh, try the enchantments. And I will probably end the episode at the skeleton farm because we will need all the levels to, to enchant our new pieces of armor. Yes, so don't hurt this guy. Uh, like this okay so we have the pants and the boots now I need 
chest piece. I will actually take three chest pieces from you and I will also take three helmets. That way we have uh, we have everything uh, threefold basically, right? <laughs> And nine. Oh, oh, the price has changed. Oh, and look at that. This now costs five. Interesting. I didn't know you can take the discount back. I didn't know that. Hmm. Did you know that? I mean, we were at six. No, at nine. Then we were at six. And now we are at eleven. And this was nine, then eight, then nine again. And these were definitely at one. The pants were at one. Oh, that's that's new for me. Good to know. Good to know. All right. So first we will go here and drop off the armor. I wonder if I should try to enchant it now already or if I should. Where did I even put it? Here into this random chest. Uh, so, hmm, how do I, how do I, I need something villager trading related. Uh, emerald, yes, emerald, of course. Let's put one emerald in here, like that, perfect. And that's the trading stuff, yes, okay. So we have already disenchanted all these things, we will also disenchant well, they have protection too, and these ones have protection free and aqua affinity, so I don't think I will disenchant the helmets, but I will probably disenchant the chest plates. I can at least disenchant, you know, one, so that I know what I get, right? Yeah, so let's disenchant this one. Nice. And let's check out level 30. And what we get, we definitely want to sleep. Don't want anything to happen to the bees. That's my biggest concern right now. I do need to make this uh, lava cauldron a little bit safer somehow. I'll, I'll have to think about it. I, I don't know exactly how I will do it. Not yet, at least. Um, here, we wanted to check what I can get here. On level 30, forns? No, that's not what I need. On the... Yeah, let's actually take one of each. We don't need the boots because we already have mending on those. Yeah, let's disenchant one of them too. Just one of them. We can get more if we need to. So leggings have unbreaking free. I can risk it. Uh, this one has nothing. And this one has aqua affinity and, and maybe... Maybe protection. I can disenchant it if it do doesn't turn out to be good. So, yeah, I think uh, I think that's not so bad. I think that's not so bad. So you will be here as well, so that I can try to enchant you. Uh, the remaining uh, emeralds can go here. Uh, that's fine. And. Uh, yeah, 24 levels, that's almost, almost good. We will need to go to level like 40, 41, give or take. And bees, are you still alive? Where are you bees? Huh. Okay, they are not here. Maybe they are still inside. I don't know how they are affected by the campfire. I mean, having campfire over there all the time is also not so cool. I don't think they like it. Now let's get rid of the campfire, shall we? I definitely, definitely don't want anything to happen to the bees. <laughs> and I'm not aware of how the mechanics work exactly, so... I'll take a couple of logs downstairs to the skeletons. Okay, uh, so... 10 more minutes. Uh, 
Time to go fishing, I would say. <laughs> I think we have started this episode with fishing and we can also end this episode with a little bit more of fishing. And I'll do the, the tree stuff off camera some other day. Oh, we have Lucky on us already. Oh, that's good. I never even got rid of it. So like that, and let's see how our luck fares today. Well, not today, right now we have already been fishing today. Okay, so the plan for the next episode. We will definitely tend to the village a little bit, spawn a golem so that um, Alex is safe. Uh, and after that, I think we will go explore that last quadrant the what was it top left no top right part of the zoomed in map and uh, next to the mesa biome right yes that's what we need to do look at all those flowers they look really nice over there <laughs> i just hope the bees survive i mean we might not get lucky with the spawns uh, like we did last time punch one bow okay that's not treasure I'm interested in. Give me name tags, give me uh, those ocean things, whatever they are called. Uh, even saddles and also of course, of course, a lot of uh, books. <laughs> those would be much appreciated. Yeah, so exploration definitely next episode. Uh, what else? Looking for Enderman. I think I will go into the nether for that. That's the easiest place to get them. Horses. Yes, I need to go that way and get a horse. You know what? We can probably do that still today. Let's wait for one more treasure. Uh, where is the sun? Sun is up there. Yeah, let's wait for one more treasure and then we'll go to get uh, one more horse. I have seen a white horse not very far from here and we should be able to get them I don't ah I still see the bees okay I still see the bees that makes me happy if there was anything to happen to those bees yeah I don't know <laughs> All right, all right. One more treasure. Just one more. Should take like, you know, two or three minutes, not more. Did I miss? I probably missed it. It was taking too long. Okay, so uh, also... Uh, what do you think we should do? Uh, let me know in the comments below. If you have uh, an awesome idea, uh, definitely do let me know. I have a lot of other projects. We still need to create uh, uh, that uh, cave spider spawner. Uh, we need, uh, I mean, farm for it. We need to do the uh, nether portal hub and from, from the broken portal. We need to well, find the stronghold, but that's for later. I don't know, and there's probably a lot more stuff that I want to do. Um, the, the witch farm, you know, the witch farm is not needed right now, uh, but we will need it eventually. So maybe, maybe that can be done too. I should also start brewing more potions, but uh, Ebony uh, did not want to share recipes with me just yet you know we are friends but the friendship is uh, fragile still i need to get her full confidence in me and then she'll be sharing some more all the secrets all the stuff okay i have waited enough for the treasure game just one no matter what it is even another broken bow <laughs> a tropical fish. Well, that's almost rare. Almost rare. That 
There we go, treasure. Nope, that's a puffer fish. And another one. That's a cod. <laughs> come on, game, come on. You're making me waste my viewers' time. Or you know what? That's not a waste of time. That's uh, that's a proper, uh, you know, enjoying of uh, life. And I don't need to even look around. It's not night. So there shouldn't be any bad guys over there. So we just patiently wait for another name tag, for another saddle. A nice enchanted book would be nice. Oh, like this one. See? We get Depth Strider number three. Oh yeah, I think that is definitely something we can use. Let's take all the fish with us. Uh, leave Lucky over here and also a couple of uh, pieces of wood. And anything else that I need to leave here? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Okay. So now we get rid of the excess stuff, including that bone meal. I will don't need it for now. I will do the uh, do the stuff later. So get rid of all of this. The saplings over there for now. What do we do with uh, with the cactus? Huh. I guess I put it next to the other things here. There. I guess, why not? Uh, the bow can be disenchanted and also thrown into lava. <laughs> I like throwing things into lava. And the books, right? So we have soul speed, unbreaking, looting. Did we not have Death Strider? Before Soul Speed, Loyalty, Infinity, Unbreaking, Depth Strider. Oh no, we had Respiration. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. So I can put uh, Depth Strider and Soul Speed on my boots. Oh, this will require tons and tons of levels. I am level 25. Uh, let's go and have a look if I can put the Depth Strider uh, on on my boots already, because that uh, that is definitely something I would like to do. We don't need the soul speed all that much, but having the depth strider, I think that's what we want to do, right? Let me actually check uh, here. So boots, yeah, we need depth strider or frost walker, but frost walker is actually something else. Yeah, we just need the depth strider then, I think. Good. How many levels will it take though? Uh, we have boots which are fully repaired and depth strider only 13 levels interesting one two three four plus depth strider one two three four five yeah protection feather falling unbreaking mending depth strider yep thank you very much nice boots do i put uh, <laughs> do i put also soul speed on them already 27. Oh, that is that is much more expensive. That is much more expensive. So that we cannot afford just yet. Loyalty, infinity, unbreaking can wait. Respiration. Where does respiration belong? I think that belongs on a helmet, doesn't it? I think so. I think so. Yeah. All right, all this uh, goes below and uh, all the fish go into the fish thingy, fish storage. Uh, we, we eat melons and we have these uh, in case we meet a cat or something. Yeah, uh, and we were going to get ourselves a new horse. Yes, yes, that's our goal. So, run this way and try to find a horsey. Oh, finally something else than steaks. 
Definitely not a balanced diet on my side. <laughs> Should make it much better now. And where is the horse? I see a horse already, but that's not the white one. That's not the white one. Shall we take the brown horse? That's a cave. I think that's a cave over. Oh, there's more horses here. Yeah, we have tons of horses. What am I even talking about? Uh, maybe we can even take all of them. You know, like, uh, are you willing to follow me, all of you, or or what? I don't know. Uh, please come with me. And you come with me. Yeah, let's let's take all the horses. Well, not all the horses. Let's take uh, three horses. That's how many leads we have. Oh, and we have a donkey. Oh, I totally want a donkey as well. <laughs> so two horses and a donkey. They should be quick enough to be able to follow me. I will turn around every now and then. And we'll need to put them... Uh, uh, together with the other horses, but uh, maybe we can first get rid of the other horses and set them free because they are they are useless. Okay, that's the only word I can I can use. That is honestly the only word I can use. I think we still even have time to test the two horses. We have found them very quickly, so. Yeah, let's test them out. So I can first let the other ones um, go free. I definitely, definitely need to get rid of uh, this first, though. Otherwise, the horses might have a tough time. Okay, I still have everybody, yes. The bees are still alive, okay. Oh, maybe they took the other they took the other thing. They have relocated. Interesting. Or maybe I messed it up. <laughs> anyway. First, these two horses. Um, I'm sorry guys, you'll need to go away. Uh, how do I do this easily? Let's just get rid of all this for now. I'll move the chickens then later over there and uh, you, you can go away, okay? Uh, the other horses, go away. You want to go away? Come on, horses. Um, go away. Yes, yes, that's good. Go away. You're free. You're free, go away. Do I have a white horse? No. Okay, so now I can push you away. Push you away. You're free. Then... Uh, one, two, and three. Okay, and now number seven to block it off. Like that. Number six. Actually, I need to also get rid of the uh, the other guy. So let's open this and break that. I guess take a lead. I lost a lead somewhere. Have I? What? You want to go back? There's no place for you here anymore. I lost the lead. No, there it is, there it is. Okay, I didn't lose the lead. Number eight, you come with me. And you come with me. Okay, both of you, thank you very much. Uh, close this. Put the torches on again. Oops, no, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, okay, fine. Here and here. And you boys uh, can... Uh, Enjoy the life. Uh, I will, I will uh, put you on this side, right? That's that's. Uh, maybe we can do stables for the villagers. You know, can do that. 
Are you still with me? Yes, you are. Yeah, the villagers need horses which they can they can work with, right? They are safe horses. They they walk so slowly that not even the clumsiest of villagers would ever have a problem. Okay, one and two. Nice. This is your new home. Enjoy it. No fences, no nothing. Just pure uh, enjoyment of life. And I see another horse. So you come with me. <laughs> Ooh. Interesting. Did I see that before? I don't think so. Any more horses? Nope. Any more horses? Nope. I think we are done. So let's... Uh, yeah, he can he can catch up. I think the horses are pretty quick, so I can probably run as well. Yeah, should be able to. So you're, uh, you're number three. Yes. We will test you out in just a moment. In just a moment. Still with us? Yes. Oh, I like it that I can run with the horses, unlike the cows and pigs and everything else. Make friends with Alex, you know. He's your, he's your new master. He's your new master. Don't walk on these things, though. I, I really need to relocate the cactuses. Is there only one bee? I will need to try to breed them or something. Okay, so you can basically stay here, right? And uh, we'll just try to tame you. It won't hurt, don't worry. Do I have any apples? Yes. Let, let me give you an apple as well. Good boy. Oh, tasty. Oh, you still don't like me. Okay. How about now? No? Oh, now you now you like. No? Not anymore? Not anymore. Almost. I can see your health, but you still don't like me. Okay, I, can, I, I will give you one more apple, okay? One more. Here you go. Tasty? I sure hope so. Are you our friend? I think he's our friend now. Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oh, and this one is uh, significantly, significantly faster. So let's uh, call it a day. And uh, when the morning comes, which should be very soon. <laughs> oh, there are monsters nearby. No, 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 no. I forget that uh, Cindy is still a monster. <laughs> Okay, uh, and now, yes, now we go and uh, take care of you. I wonder why you are trying to go elsewhere. That's not a good idea. Oh, he's, he's fast. He's fast, so like this. Yeah, he's speed 10. Okay, so that's much better than speed 6. <laughs> That's much better than speed 6. Let's test him once more. And speed 10 is already decent enough. Can you jump though? Looks like you can't jump either. Seriously? You can't jump at all? Not even one? Dude! What's wrong with these horses? They can't do anything. How am I supposed to get out from here now. I guess I will have to destroy a couple of these things. Yeah. Wow, this guy, this guy is special as well. Did I not pick it up? Ah, oh, yes, I did. All right. So let's let's test it once more, okay? Maybe there was a mistake or something. 
Bam, speed 10. Okay, okay. You are speed 10 and uh, you cannot jump, right? This is free high, let's say. Let's test if you can jump through that. No, your jump is basically non-existent. You can't jump at all. No? Oh, well, you can jump through one, one fence, but that's it. That's it, okay. So, speed 10, not bad. Not bad. We will try the other horses uh, in the next episode. For now, I thank you very much for watching. Till next time, bye-bye.